Good morning, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own racket and ball from things you can find at home. You will need a coat hanger, a wire one, some old pantyhose or knee highs, yarn, cardboard, and some scissors. So anyway, you can get those things together this week. Um, I've also got some uh, an activity video you can do um, after you see this video, but you can come back to it and learn how to make your some of your own equipment at home. First, I'm gonna show you how to make a racket with the coat hanger. You take your wire coat hanger and you pull it till it makes like a diamond shape, like so. Then you take the nylon from the knee high or old pantyhose, whatever you want to use, and you slide it over the bottom of the hanger. It's gonna be kind of tight. You might need um, your parents to help you out. But if you squeeze it kind of skinny, you can get it around the outside, like so. And I can just bend the wire any way I want to. As you can see, I was able to round some of the wire coat hanger. The tighter you can get it, the more your ball will bounce off of the racket. Now, here at the bottom, where you see the hook, you're just going to bend it. If you want to, you can get some pliers, or you can twist it, but you don't want the wire sticking out. You don't want your hands to get poked. So I'm just going to take it, bend it upward, like so. Make sure that the hanger you use is nice and sturdy. There we go. Looks a little like a arrowhead, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to use some duct tape with the racket just so it's easier to hang on to when you're playing. Plus you can tighten up the the nylon hose. Now what we need is a ball that we can use to hit with. That's where the yarn comes in and the cardboard. This is the most important part of making a yarn ball. Get a piece of cardboard and we're going to cut out this middle part here. I want to cut out this side and this side, these little boxes. And I'll do that now. It's kind of it's going to kind of look like the letter H with two bars across. It can be a little tricky. You need some sharp scissors, and you need uh, one of your parents to help you out with this part. Okay, but you take the middle part where that middle box is, this one, and you're going to have to push your scissors into it until it goes through. like so.
Then you get your yarn. And you're going to start wrapping it around. You don't want it real tight. Tie a knot right through the middle there. You want it nice and tight because this is the very center of your ball. And then I pull it nice and tight. There, that one's tight. Okay, you can see that um, I rolled it kind of tight because my cardboard's starting to buckle up a little bit. Then you take your scissors and you go up right along the edge. You go up underneath. Up the side. And then you're gonna cut. You go the other side. Do the same thing. And you pull it through. Might need to trim it up a little bit. There we go. There's a nice little yarn ball we can play with our game. So I hope you have good luck in making your equipment this week. You can message me and let me know how things went. <laughs>